Today we're tracking new statistics that show the number of homicides and aggravated assaults are down across Atlanta. Compared to last year, right now homicides are down 54% and aggravated assaults are down 18%. Here's 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn with a closer look at those numbers. As the temperature heats up, oftentimes so do violent crimes. Research suggests by as much as 6% on days we hit 85 and above. So far this year, the city of Atlanta has seen a decrease in violent crimes. Take a look. As of tonight, APD has investigated 57 homicides compared to 88 this time last year and 62 in 2021. Even aggravated assaults are down. Those crimes defined as an intent to murder, rape, or rob a victim. As of tonight, an 18% decrease compared to last year and down 12% from 2021. There are a number of factors which play into these trends. APD has been aggressively targeting gangs, guns, and drugs. At a recent city council meeting, Atlanta Police Chief Darren Sheerbaum explained drug dealers are a top priority. Likely to be the third highest motivator for homicides in your district. The chief says they've increased gang charges by 80%. That will show in our reduction around homicides, as well as aggravated assaults, robberies, and gangs. Hiring more officers is also a top priority. However, the chief pointed out APD can't prevent every violent crime, asking for everyone to step up elevating the civility of our society to help us fight those. His deputy chief, Charles Hampton, making the same point in a recent interview with me. We can't do it alone. The deputy chief says their goal is to continue retaining and hiring top-notch officers. There are some things that we're, we're not going to prevent, so then our job becomes to how can we solve them and how can we quickly get them to justice. Of course, summer is underway and along with the heat, a lot of teenagers are on summer break. APD and the city are pleading with parents to be involved in every aspect of your child's life to prevent another senseless tragedy. Right now, the city is debating several options on how to cut down on youth crime, one of which would be a youth curfew. We're tracking its latest developments and you can read all about it online at 11alive.com.